Imagine investing $1,000 in Palantir back in 2018. Fast forward to March 2024, and that investment would be worth $1,019, a modest 2% gain over 6 years. Now why is that? It may seem puzzling considering Palantir is a leading American artificial intelligence and data analytics company. But to understand these numbers, we need to delve deeper into Palantir's financial journey. Palantir was founded in 2003 and went public in 2020. The company has been on a long and winding road with its fair share of peaks and troughs. Over the years it has grown its revenue substantially. In 2023 Palantir reported revenue of $2.2 billion, a significant leap from the $600 million it reported in 2018. That's an impressive compound annual growth rate of 30%. But the revenue tells just part of the story. Palantir's financial health is also determined by its cost structure and profit margins. The company's gross profit margin in 2023 was 82%, a healthy increase from the six-year average of 74%. It also reported a positive net profit margin for the first time in 2023, a promising sign of things to come. The road to profitability has not been easy for Palantir. It has had to curb its expenses significantly to improve its bottom line. For instance, its research and development costs as a percentage of revenue have dropped from 48% in 2018 to 18% in 2023. Similarly, its sales, general and administrative expenses have fallen from 127% of revenue in 2018 to 58% in 2023. So, while Palantir's growth story may not have translated into stellar returns for investors so far, the company's improving financial health could bode well for the future. The journey of Palantir is a testament to the fact that the path to profitability is often long and arduous, especially in the tech industry. But don't write off Palantir just yet, the company's financials suggest that it could be on the verge of turning a corner. So let's dive into the financials to uncover the story behind these numbers. One of the key indicators of a company's health is its revenue growth, and Palantir has seen some impressive growth since 2018. Let's delve into the numbers. In the year 2023, Palantir's revenue stood at a whopping $2.2 billion, a significant increase from the modest $600 million in 2018. This signifies an impressive compound annual growth rate, or CAGR, of 30%. The year-by-year -year breakdown of this growth paints an intriguing picture. From 2018 to 2019, revenue growth was 23%. The following year, it soared to 49%, then eased to 36% in 2021. In 2022, growth was at a still respectable 27%, though it did dip to 16% in 2023. Now let's consider the sources of this revenue. 55% of Palantir's income comes from government contracts, while the remaining 45% is derived from commercial sectors. This balance between public and private sectors demonstrates the company's diverse client base and its ability to pivot between different markets. Geographically, the United States is Palantir's largest market, accounting for 63% of its revenue. The United Kingdom contributes 11%, while the rest of the world makes up the remaining 26%. This global footprint attests to the company's international appeal and its capacity to tap into various markets around the world. To sum it up, Palantir has experienced robust revenue growth over the past five years, with a healthy balance between government and commercial sectors and a broad geographical distribution of its income. These factors all contribute to a promising financial trajectory for the company, so while the revenue growth is robust, let's look at where the profits are going. Profit margins can make or break a company. And for Palantir, the gross profit margin has been on an upward trend. In 2023, the company's gross profit margin was 82%, a notable increase from the six-year average of 74%. This growth isn't accidental but rather a reflection of strategic moves on Palantir's part. Now let's delve deeper into the net profit margin. For the first time since 2018, Palantir hit a positive net profit margin, coming in at 9% in 2023. This shift into the green is a promising indicator of the company's progression towards profitability. The improved profit margins can be attributed to Palantir's concerted efforts to reduce costs. A look into the company's expenditure shows a significant drop in both research and development R&D costs and selling general and administrative SG&A costs relative to the revenue. In 2023, R&D costs were at 18% of the revenue, a substantial decrease from the 48% seen in 2018. Similarly, SG&A costs fell to 58% of the revenue, down from a staggering 127% in 2018. 
This consistent reduction in costs, especially in areas that are typically seen as necessary evils in business, underscores Palantir's commitment to streamlining operations and enhancing profitability. It's a testament to their ability to maintain a lean operation while still driving technological innovation and expansion. But cost reduction isn't just about cutting back, it's about optimizing resources and ensuring that every dollar spent contributes to the bottom line. And Palantir seems to have mastered this art, striking a balance between investing in growth and maintaining profitability. Now that we've seen the improvements in profit margins, let's look at the company's net profit. Net profit is a clear indicator of a company's financial health. And for Palantir, it's a positive sign. In 2023, Palantir reported a net profit of $200 million, a significant turn of events, marking the first time since 2018 that the company has seen positive net profit. This improvement is largely due to the company's commitment to reducing costs, including research and development and sales and general administrative expenses. Let's pivot to the company's assets. In 2023, Palantir's total assets were valued at $4.5 billion, a notable increase from $3.5 billion in 2022. Net assets, too, saw an upward trend, rising from $2.6 billion in 2022 to $3.6 billion in 2023. This represents an increase in equity to total assets from 74% in 2022 to 80% in 2023. But what do these figures mean? Essentially, an increase in total assets indicates that the company is growing. It's expanding its operations, investing in new ventures, or accumulating more cash and equivalents. On the other hand, an increase in net assets means that the company's owners have more claim on the business's assets. It's a sign of financial stability and can be a positive indicator for investors. Furthermore, the rise in the equity to total assets ratio suggests that Palantir is financing its growth more through its equity rather than debt. This is generally a good sign, as it means the company is not overly reliant on outside financing, which can be costly and increase financial risk. In conclusion, Palantir's positive net profit and increasing assets paint an optimistic picture of the company's financial health. This is a company that is not only growing, but doing so sustainably, maintaining a healthy balance between its debts and assets. With net profits in the positive and a steady increase in assets, let's look at how liquid the company is. Liquidity is crucial for any company, and Palantir is no exception. Palantir's liquidity position is robust, as evidenced by its current ratio. This ratio measures a company's ability to pay short-term and long-term obligations. In 2023, Palantir's current ratio stood at 5.52, an increase from 5.15 in 2022. Any ratio above 1 is considered good, and Palantir's figures are more than just good, they're strong. Another important liquidity indicator is receivable days which measures how quickly a company collects cash from its customers. For Palantir, this number was 60 in 2023, up from 50 in 2022. This slight increase implies that Palantir is taking a bit longer to collect its dues, however it's still within a reasonable range and not a cause for concern. Let's also look at Palantir's cash flow. The company's operating cash flow and free cash flow in 2023 were both $700 million. These figures have been improving year on year and have shown an upward trend since 2018. This consistent rise in cash flow is a positive sign, indicating that the company is generating enough cash to sustain its operations and invest in future growth. Finally, let's dive into the DuPont analysis, which breaks down return on equity into three components, net profit margin, asset turnover, and equity multiplier. In 2023, Palantir's return on equity was 6% a significant improvement from negative 15% in 2022. The net profit margin, which measures how much of each dollar of revenue is left over as profit, was 9%. The asset turnover, which gauges how efficiently a company uses its assets to generate sales, was 0.49. The equity multiplier, which reflects a company's financial leverage, was 1.25. When compared to 2022, all these figures show a company that's improving its profitability, efficiency, and financial structure. So, while the return on investment from 2018 to 2024 may be modest, Palantir's financial performance shows a company on the rise, 